and um, I've coached Kimberly. Kimberly has coached me. Um, and in those interactions and exchanges was birth embracing newness, which are our coaching retreats. So while we both love travel, um, given the travel a bit more purpose and intention than just a typical girlfriend's weekend, especially when you have people bringing you forward, leading you in intentionality, leading you in treating yourself well, self-care, health, thinking about that from not only a food perspective, but mental, uh, physical, emotional, spiritual uh, perspective. We bring all of that into our retreats. And so we came up uh, with embracing newness together. And it's not just some random name, Kimberly. You want to talk a little bit about what embracing newness means to us? Sure. Um, for So for us, embracing newness is uh, the, the word in and of itself speaks um, to, a, I think one of the things I want to go back is like our history. And I think the two of us were working with women that we we didn't want it to be about fear. Like we were like, we wanted people to overcome their fears, right? But not using the word fear in there. And so we wanted people to embrace the newness of an experience. And so when you think about the word embrace, it's basically holding someone close um, in your arms, especially as a sign of, of affection. And um, you want people to accept and support that type of thing. So the, the definition is is truly bringing people in and wrapping them in. And that's what we do as coaches and as the women that come together. Um, and then thinking about newness is uh, anything, a quality of being new or original. And that's when we were talking about the fear aspect of when you do something, quote unquote, new, original, you may have, you may not be there, but instead of pushing it away or stuffing that feeling down or saying, oh, no, no, I can't do that. We want you to embrace that space of um, this new experience uh, and, and step forward in, in that and embracing the new you and the, the new experience and um, the new people that you come in contact with. So that's just a little bit about the name embracing newness. And what about the our symbol? We have a wonderful uh, logo and symbol, uh, the peacock. So could you explain a little bit about that, Serena? Absolutely. And then our peacock is encompassed um, in a circle, in several circles, um, and the peacock coming forth to um, just symbolize being confident in self, having um, how self-esteem and self-regard, um, just high in dignity and refinement, right? I think about uh, adults and um, when you think about adults and they typically get into the careers and they always like self-professional de development, but what does that personal development look like and why do we think it stops uh, somewhere along the way? So that refinement, like we're always being refined and fine-tuned and, you know, having a different kind of knowledge and just the beauty of the peacock and thinking about the plumes and all of the feathers when they come and spread out um, and tying it back to the originality, right? The peacock is, is often a very original looking creature. There's not another thing that looks very similar to it. And they all look very different because of the, the feathers and the stages they're in. And then tying it with the circle being limitless um, eternity, unity, infinity, wholeness, you know, like a circle just doesn't end. Um, there's no start, there's no ending. It is just this continuous piece and it representing the evolution of us and people. We are always transforming in our life. And, you know, knowing that as coaches, who are certified coaches, who do a lot of non-directive coaching, who also give some information when people don't know, just really thinking about that's what we're doing. We're helping think people transform, like to move from where they were mm -hmm. to who they need to be in this moment. And that it's a never ending process, really. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, with that, we bring that into the retreats. We intentionally did not want like a meetup, uh, 20 <laughs> people who never met each other before to kind of go out and do the thing. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? But right. 
what we wanted was let's see if we can move this whole group from where they are now to where they each want to be as individuals, but as a group feeling supported, not only by us, mm -hmm. but also by one another. And what does that look like? So, you know, I know our coaching retreats have group coaching previously, you know, but prior to the trip, we get yeah. together, uh, they get with us mm -hmm. and we get together afterwards as well. And then, um, you know, we also do the individual one-on-one -on -one with each person to not only see what they want collectively as a group, mm -hmm. but individually, where, what is that piece for you? What is that thing for you? What are you working on? And then even our coaching conversations during the retreat. 